I think it's a great accomplishment for Congress and for the U.S. as a whole. It's very necessary for the U.S. to do our part in meeting our climate goals and to continue moving renewable energy forward in this country. Um, we have suffered some setbacks at the federal level with the tax credit stepping down uh, during the Trump administration. So it's great to see the Biden administration and the uh, Democrats stepping up and uh, bringing the tax credit back up to where it was a few years ago, where George Bush originally set it and where Obama succeeded in extending it um, and give the industry certainty around knowing that we have the federal support for the next at least 10 years to continue to grow uh, renewables in the U.S., create more jobs in the U.S. around renewables, and uh, help convert the grid from older, dirtier fuel sources to renewables. It, it made economical sense. Um, since I've been here, my bill has been going up and up and up. And with the, the strain on the grid from what I'm learning, I know I am taking part in alleviating some of that, that, that stress. They, they had a plan where I was approved for a certain amount, way above what was required to put this install in place. So I was more than happy to go ahead and make that investment because in the long run, it, it pays off. It'll add up in the long run. Um, so it, was, it just made sense. Still you got it a little bit. Hey guys, should chuck on? Okay. What happened? You broke it? No. Um. Ten years ago, solar was in its infancy here in the U.S. You know, and today we're a booming industry that, uh, you know, here on Long Island, where we are today at a job site of more solar being installed, um, we have about 4% of single family homes now have solar on the roof, you know, and growing each year. It's a number that, you know, we've seen uh, a very, very large rise in the rate that people are going solar. You know, we as a company have gone from 30 employees in uh, 2017 to over 200 today. Um, and many of our competitors and our suppliers have experienced similar growth uh, here in this market and across the U.S. You know, the technology today allows uh, for the majority of our customers to produce enough power throughout the year to cover all of their electricity consumption from their home. You know, the, uh, some people might use uh, too much and so they're not able to, but the majority of our customers, we put enough panels on their roof for them to, uh, to produce everything they need for the year. Um, it's uh, pretty incredible how far the technology has come. Uh, you know, to put numbers on it, you know, these panels next to me are 415 DC watts. Um, a panel that we were using in, say, 2017 was around 265. So you can see how the manufacturers have been able to, you know, get more and more uh, electricity and such out of the same, uh, the same roof. When the salesperson came down, sat in my home, and broke everything down to me and my, my family, you know, my husband, I was like, babe, this makes sense. Before, my husband was against it, but my sister has it, and she was, you know, telling us about it. But when he sat down and broke everything down and answered all of our questions, then we were, you know, he, he, he changed his mind, and he said, okay, we could get it. So 